in the general info setup uh, window you can set some general information about your business that will be used on the main screen and also in your invoices or receipts like the name of your company the phone number the address of the company the register number of course in here you can designate different numbers for the registers or maybe combinations of numbers or and characters or just letters you know you can give your registers names as long as you know you have something to differentiate each register in your business the location of the business general location that you want printed out on the screen or uh, the receipt and the last three lines in here are uh, lines of text like text messages that will print out in the bottom of the receipts in the end we'll just click submit changes for the changes to take effect in the invoice receipt setup uh, we can set up the font uh, that will be used to print out the receipts like the font name let's say you can change it to whatever you desire and the size of the font and also by simply clicking yes or no you can select a lot of things uh, that are optional to show up on these receipts or invoices like to have a logo printed to have the invoice number printed as a barcode on it uh, to have the customer's name printed on the invoice or the receipt to have the customer's address printed customer's phone number and lastly if you're having some problems <coughs> with uh, the um, horizontal margins with the width printing even though everything is set up correctly <coughs> sometimes it can happen where uh, you have let's say a three inch width paper however uh, some margins are set up in a certain way where that printer cannot actually print to the edge of the paper and uh, needs to stop sooner also for the starting position horizontally you know you may see some cutoffs in the text horizontally this uh, handle in here allows you to choose uh, to decrease the horizontal printing length and uh, allows the then the whole system to treat it as less of a length and figure out how to calibrate that properly in the end of course you hit uh, submit changes for the changes to take effect now in the regional standards and settings windows you can uh, select what kind of tax or taxes you will be using in your uh, business depending on your local regulations of course you can use a single tax or you can use two taxes uh, and of course you can name these taxes as you wish um, let's say this will be some state tax and this can be some federal tax that will be the setting for using two taxes we'll just switch it back to a single tax for now in here we'll just simply call it tax uh, then the method of the tax insertion into the prices you know in the USA the US method is that the taxes are added at the end to the total uh, of the sale and uh, then you have other countries like Europe Australia Asia they do the VAT GST PST type of uh, taxes where the taxes are pre inserted into the prices uh, before the sale that makes a big difference of when you actually add the, the percentage of the tax after totaling everything or before we'll just keep the USA away for now in here and then you can uh, select the currency select the currency of uh, your local um, system we tend to try and have all of the currencies in here however if we miss some if your country's uh, currency is not in here um, you can simply you can simply create it yourself by uh, by clicking this option here that says add a currency and it will simply just ask you what the currency is called and what is the sign for it so you'll be effectively creating uh, a currency that we missed to add in that list uh, the last option here is the currency's decimal places 
our typical currency in the United States actually the US dollar has two decimal places so we've selected this as a default option however some countries have a currency with three decimal places and they'll be selecting that option in here and in the end of course we'll hit submit changes for the changes to take effect 